Hi, I like to compare QSP and KSP with you. Um, now, just a little reminder, QSP is going to be at any point in the reaction, okay, where, where we could have reactants begin to change the products and we jump in and we take a snapshot. We take a picture of, um, okay, what are the amount of reactants, what are the amount of products. KSP, remember, is a beautiful equilibrium. That's where the rate at which reactants change their products equals the rate at which products change back to reactants. When we have equal forward reverse rates, we have constant concentration. Um, now, KSP, just a reminder, is our solubility product. So it's when we have um, a solid that is going to dissociate and break into its ions. Um, so this is kind of unique comparing QSP and KSP because it deals with saturation, precipitation, and unsaturation. Um, now, big, big uh, driving force on this, how I want you to think, remember that when we're doing Q and K, it's always P over R. It's always products over reactants. Keep that in your mind. Um, so that's the first thing that I want you to keep in, the, in your mind. Second thing that I want you to remember is that um, at KSP, that's when we have saturation. That's when you have saturation. Um, so you have a solid. Um, let's take a silver chloride as an example, and it's going to produce it's um, a chloride ion and a silver ion. When we're at KSP, um, the maximum amount of ions have dissolved. Because remember, for all intent and purpose, <clears throat> these um, KSP uh, values come from uh, compounds that really are insoluble. They barely break apart. I mean, this is going to have a tiny, tiny KSP, like 10 to the minus 10 or something, which means way reactant favored. Um, very few ions dissociate. They break apart. So remember, at KSP, maximum, maximum number of ions have dissociated. So with that, if QSP equals KSP, um, that means that you're at equilibrium and you have this perfect saturation. You dissolve just the right amount that every single ion is going to dissociate um, and you won't have any solid left over. And every water molecule will be surrounding an ion. It's exact perfect saturation. Okay, perfect saturation. Now, if QSP is greater than KSP, and this is how I'll lock it in my brain, I remember this fact right here. So products over reactants. If QSP is bigger, <clears throat> let's just put the, um, throw out some numbers so you can uh, work this out. Let's say that this is two and this is one. I'm thinking, okay, <clears throat> for this ratio, product over re reactant, for that to be two and that to be one, I must have more products. That's how I think it out. And I literally still to this day, and I've done this for more years than I want to admit, um, to this day, I will still put in my numbers so I can think it through and figure it out. Um, so if this number is bigger, okay, looking at that ratio, I must have a bigger numerator. I must have more products. So then I go back to this idea of the reaction. If I have more products right here at this moment, it means I'd have more ions. But then I go, uh, wait. I can't have more ions than KSP because that's the maximum amount that will dissolve. That means if you're given information of, hey, you have this amount of products, this amount of reactants, and it's greater than KSP, it means you're going to have a precipitate form. You're going to put so much in um, of this uh, particular uh, reactant that when it breaks apart, it should uh, it's going to produce the products and because this is bigger, you're thinking, oh, keep producing, keep producing, but it hits a maximum. It hits a saturation. And once it's hit that saturated amount, once it's hit that KSP amount, it's done. It can't dissolve anymore. And so what happens to the rest of the product? It sits there as a solid, which we call a precipitate. So I wanna say that one more time. If QSP is better than KSP, so it would look like we have more products than reactants, it forms a precipitate because here's what happens. Here's the reality. You can't have more products than the KSP because this is a saturated maximum amount that can dissolve. So if you have more products, that means it will become saturated and then the rest that should form products, it actually just sits there and doesn't react. It can't, it can't break apart. 
so it forms a precipitate. And notice what I put right here, more products than the saturated amount, so it will precipitate. It just sits there, just sits there. Um, so you can't have any more products than the saturated amount, than the KSP amount. Okay, let's take a look at this scenario. Let's say that QSP is less than KSP. Let's put in numbers again. <laughs> and literally, this is what I do. Um, I might say, all right, this is one because it's less than two. <laughs> Use a one and a two. And then I go back to my ratio. Okay, products over reactants. I'm thinking, okay, if this number, KS, QSP, is less than two, that means I must have a bigger denominator. I must have more reactants for this number to be smaller. So then I come back to this idea. Solid produces those aqueous ions. If I have more reactants, that means it's unsaturated. It means, oh, if I have more sitting here, I can actually dissolve more of those ions. Um, so your big takeaway on this, if QSP is less than KSP, you have more reactants, that means, hey, you can dissolve more. To reach equilibrium, you can dissolve more. So at this point, at this snapshot, it must be unsaturated. If I have more reactants at this moment, then at a um, perfect equilibrium scenario, um, it means I can actually dissolve more to reach KSP. Um, to come up to that number two, um, I would have to get more products. So at this moment, QSP, less than KSP, at this moment, it's unsaturated. So notice what I put here as your takeaway. More reactants than the KSP, so it has not reached saturation. We haven't maxed out, I can dissolve more. All right, so take a minute, wrap your head around um, these ideas. Don't memorize this straight out. Use the little technique of putting um, one and two for the greater the less than. Remember products over reactants. And really, again, here's the foundation. At KSP, you have maximum number of ions dissolved. Pulling all that together, take some time to process this. You'll make it make sense. You'll get it figured out. So good work. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.